Hello friends, welcome to Simplified Biology. Today's topic is Restriction Endonuclease. Restriction Endonuclease was discovered by Werner Arbor, Hamilton Smith and Daniel Nathan. They are referred as molecular scissors in genetic engineering. As they are capable of breaking DNA, they break DNA at specific sites that are referred as restricted sites. The first restriction endonuclease that was isolated is HIND2. The restricted sites on which they act show palindromic sequences. Palindromic sequences mean sequences that have the same meaning when read from both the sides. Just like the word madam, you read from this way or this way. It means the same. The word Malayalam, both the ways when read are same. Now this is an example of a restricted site and they always read the restricted site in the 5 prime, 3 prime direction. They are found in bacteria. There are more than 900 restriction endonucleases that have been isolated from 230 strains of bacteria and even the restricted sites have been identified. There are three types of restriction endonucleases, type 1, type 2 and type 3, of which type 2 is used in genetic engineering. Now they break the phosphodiester bonds that hold adjacent nucleoside together in a polynucleotide chain. Now the function they have in the bacterium is that they protect the bacterium from foreign DNA. When they get infected by viral DNA or RNA, they cut into pieces the viral DNA so that it does not act upon the bacteria. Now they act on foreign DNA but they do not act on bacteria's own DNA due to methylation of its nucleotides. Now in this diagram we can see that the nucleotides of the restricted sites have a methyl group added to it due to which they are unable to recognize by the restriction enzyme. Now how a restriction endonucleus is named? The first letter in the name is written in capitals. That is the first letter of the genus of the bacterium from which it has been discovered. And this is written in italics. The next two letters are in small letters. They are the first two letters of the species of the bacteria. This two is written in italics. Third is the strain of the bacterium from which it has been isolated. And fourth which is a numeral, is the order in which it has been discovered from that particular strain of the bacterium. Now let's see an example, ECO R1. E represents the first alphabet of the genus is Chirgia. CO represents the first two alphabets of the species coli. R the RY13 strain of the bacterium and 1, it is the first to be discovered from that particular strain of the bacterium. Now similarly, HIND2, H represents the first alphabet of the genus Haemophilus. IN are the first two letters of the word Influenzae. D is the RD strain of the bacteria and Second, it is the second to be discovered from that particular strain of the bacterium. The restricted sites of these two restriction endonucleases are, in case of ECO R1, it is GAATTC. They act in this direction. And in case of HIND2, it is GTC and GAC. They read in this direction. Now, restriction endonucleases act in two ways. First is they produce sticky ends. Now, let's take an example of ECO R1. 
Now, restriction in the nucleus has a fixed site in the restricted in site where they act upon. So, where they are capable of breaking at this point and at this point of the restricted site, due to which this part of the DNA becomes single stranded and it starts staggering on it. Wherever it finds a complementary sequence, it easily binds to it. That is why they are referred as sticky ends. Even BAM H1 restriction endonuclease, whose restricted site is GGATCC, produces sticky ends. Now, the other way in which they act is they act in the midway of the restricted site due to which blunt ends are produced. Hind 2 restriction endonucleases produces blunt ends. Now, during the formation of a recombinant vector, the vector and the foreign DNA are cut with the same restriction endonucleases. The same restriction endonuclease is used to cut the vector and the foreign DNA so that they will have the same sticky ends. Hence, they can be easily joined to each other by ligase enzyme. Thank you. Thank you for watching.